Well, hello, my friends. Super happy to be here with you today because I'm going to have a conversation with Chicago-based dancer and choreographer Frankie Barron. She's doing a super cool project right now with Still Inspired, and that's going to be amazing. And the best part, you know, at least for me, is that she is collaborating with me as an artist, you know, on a piece that she is creating uh, the dance, you know, the, the choreography part, you know, as an inspiration from my painting. Let's talk a little bit about, you know, you as a dancer, as a choreographer. Uh, you're based here in Chicago. How did you uh, get started with uh, that career? Yeah, I um, I never had imagined that I was going to dance professionally as, as a really? career. I uh, w was dancing, you know, through high school when I was growing up. Um, didn't plan on going to school, um, to college for, for a dance degree, but mm -hmm. um, I just couldn't seem to get away from it. And... Um, you know, went went to school, changed my degree, got a dance degree, and it's just something that has stuck with me. And I can't imagine not being a dance artist and being able to collaborate with so many wonderful people and and getting the chance just to kind of create and express myself is. That's actually a great segue into our, the next part of the conversation, which is, you know, your participation with Still Inspired, which is an amazing organization I have been involved with also in the past, uh, which was really a great experience uh, having to see my artwork being translated into, you know, a performance piece. And that's actually what brings us in this conversation. Tell me a little bit about the process of, you know, uh, how, how you started working with Still Inspired. And then how did you go about selecting the artwork for the piece that you created? So I'm, I'm so honored that the director, Laura Thurston, has allowed me to choreograph a piece um, for Still Inspired. It's been very exciting. Um, and, and we actually, you know, started this project, or I had the beginning ideas of it um, last summer, and we, you and I had briefly emailed. Mm -hmm. um, so it's, it's great that finally, you know, it's almost been a year that's finally kind of right. seen the light of day. But, um, you know, so Laura had mentioned, you know, she was like, you know, here's Sergio's work. I've worked with him in the past and we want to like bring back his work again. And I, you know, was going through your website and your work is just incredible. And I don't have okay. much um, experience with visual artists and Still Inspired has really um, gave me this appreciation for visual art that I've never was really just like aware of and it's just mm -hmm. incredible incredible to me how you how you create what you know how, how you <laughs> do what you do but um these two pieces really stood out to me i love um the simplicity of them and the contrast and you talk about um you know like the du the duality of it and kind right. of this nature versus nurture with the two mm -hmm. pieces um which really really drew me to these two specific artworks uh pieces of work but i also um i think i had mentioned to you what, what really inspired me was um, on your website, you have these um, videos of, of like a time lapse of how you make your work. Yes. And I was just in awe that you start on these huge sheets of paper with all of just these like random lines, you know, <laughs> and then over the course of however many hours, you have these incredibly detailed and textured um, pieces of work. And so I was just amazed by that. And then I was, you know, it, it got me thinking, I want to, I want to track, you know, a dancer or a dance, mm -hmm. um, and kind of get it you know, on paper to see how the, 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 the final product goes. Oh, very exciting. Very cool. And actually, you know, a fun fact about those two pieces, you know, as they sit side by side and I, I'll show them here on the screen for our friends, uh, assign uh, identity and acquire identity is that, uh, you know, this, it's almost because they are large size sheets of paper, you know, larger than myself. There's also almost like a performer kind of type of thing where I have to move almost like dance with the paper, right? And with my material. So <laughs> there's kind of that aspect to it. And the fun part about that piece is that it, I did those two pieces one night. I got home, I was super tired, super exhausted but I really had this idea in my head uh, of, of seeing these two heads. And I had no choice like to walk in my studio and start working from beginning to end. That's when I did the uh, time-lapse that, uh, that you saw and that I just showed here. And uh, it, was, it was like a quick, uh, probably it took me about an hour and a half or so to complete both pieces, which uh, is pretty fast, you know, for, for uh, those, <laughs> a work of that size. But it was like that intensity of, had to let it all 
there, had to let it in the paper, had to kind of like give myself up to the art, to the process and have it yeah. done. And I assume performance in a way is similar in that, you know, you go at it, you, uh, you leave it all there in the, you know, in, in the act of performance. Tell me a little bit maybe about the comparison of that, you know, uh, what is it like to really put your body into that moment of creation of performing? Yeah, yeah, you know, each project is different, um, which I imagine is probably the same with you, but, mm -hmm. um, you know, with this project, it, it, um, it, it, it was, it was brewing for a long time. It was, it was in my brain. The idea was there for a long time, but I actually, it was a pretty quick process of getting into rehearsal space and actually kind of mm -hmm. putting it together and seeing what it would look like. Um, which, which is, which is good in a way, you know, you don't have a lot of time to kind of overthink and you really just have to kind of trust your, your instinct of, um, you know, where you kind of want to see this piece going and stuff. And, and, for, for this piece, I think in particular with, with it being a dance film, there's only so much prep that you can do before you go for a shooting day. And then, mm -hmm. you know, we, um, we shot all the footage in, in one, in one sitting, you know, in one night right. and you kind of just, you know, you have to, it's, it's, it's different, you know, it's, it, you know, not being in a live performance and having someone there with a camera in your face, you have to kind of, <laughs> you know, go into performance mode and and just um kind of trust yourself to do the thing and, that, and we we got a lot of footage that was kind of pre you know it was choreographed and then there was also some bits that were just happened naturally when we were filming so it was more kind mm. of like an improv mm -hmm. um which just came up and it seemed you know i had to like trust myself and it seemed natural right. so really cool and, and, and tell me also which i love to hear about also you know going from being the dancer to now being the choreographer and the director of what's happening. Now you are almost putting your trust in the person who's doing the dancing part, right? So that it embodies the vision that you originally have. Tell me a little bit about, you know, going from one to, to now the, the choreographer space. Yeah, it's, you know, you have to wear a lot of different hats and mm -hmm. um, sometimes it's challenging to kind of switch one of those off and, and turn the other one on. Um, you know, definitely for, like for shooting day, I just had to, you know, I had a videographer there, Tanner, and he, I put the directing into him that day and I had to kind of shut off that, you know, that choreographer mode and, and just step into performance um, dancer mode, um, which can be tricky sometimes, but um, yeah. I, it's a skill that, you know, we artists learn how to kind of navigate and, and juggle those. Very cool, very exciting. Well, I'm sure our friends are really, really uh, looking forward to see this performance. You know, if you're watching this video on YouTube or in social media, you can go to the description. We're going to put a direct link right there. But our friends who are maybe listening also to a podcast or they're driving and they cannot click right now, uh, where can they find you on Instagram? And then let's also share uh, the Instagram page for Still Inspired. You can find my Instagram page um, is under at frankly underscore spoken. Um, it's where I post all of my kind of dance works and what's happening. Um, and then you can also follow along still inspired, which is at still underscore inspired, um, which the, the film will be released through their Instagram page as well as their Facebook um, on March 1st. For friends, again, make sure after this, you watch this video, go and find the link and go and watch it and then share it with all your friends. We would love to hear from you. Connect with Frankie. Uh, also, let me know how you like the piece and uh, let me know as well. We'd love to hear. And uh, so much, uh, you know, great things are happening, even though, as you say, with all the things that the world has experienced, beautiful things are still happening. You know, artists are still creating, dancers are still dancing, you know, musicians are still playing music. So this beautiful thing that we call the arts is still making us all, you know, have a big smile in our faces. And so thank you so much for all the work you do, Frankie, you know, for inspiring us. Again, we thank also Laura Thurston at Still Inspired for continuing, you know, involving artists and performance and dancers and choreographers and making this beautiful synergy of a uh, of forces and elements working together for a good cause, right? For a good purpose. So, well, we wish you great success. Thank you so much for being here with us. And uh, to all our friends, please, if you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to follow and don't forget also to share it with all your friends. Have a great day. Bye.